Well, Freedom Audit is really a curatorial inquiry. It's not so much an exhibition. It came about largely because Kate Bryant, fair director, was asking me to make an exhibition for the fair. And um, it happened at around the time of the Charlie Hebdo massacres in Paris. And it, it got me to thinking, really, that the only exhibition that you'd really want to consider at that time would be one that was addressing some of the issues that was relevant to the issues today. And we were talking an awful lot at that time about freedom, about what freedom meant to us, how everyone should have freedom of expression. And it occurred to me in listening to various people talking about it, it's not that straightforward, it's not black and white. And actually, many occasions when there are questions like this, we do turn to artists who are very, very good at reflecting um, the various issues, uh, the black and whites, the yes or the no's. So that's where I started. So given that the fair really has a sort of a global reach, it was always my intention to sort of chime with that. So I wanted to look beyond the artists that I already know, and I wanted to look into countries and political issues uh, beyond those that I, I already understand. So that was very exciting for me, which is one of the reasons why I think it's much more of a curatorial inquiry. And I was looking for artists that aren't so much sort of protesting, but are able to take the issues to do with um, gender, sexuality, issues around belief, around politics, around war, and able to communicate them in a very um, sophisticated but almost seductive way. So I hope that the exhibition um, has that sort of seductiveness and that element of beauty about it, as well as those more serious messages that are underlying it. So we've got a fantastic lineup of artists coming fr from across the world, from Tibet and China, from Indonesia to Spain, Denmark, South America, Panama, and we have this incredible artist, Berna Reale, who's representing Brazil at the Venice Biennale this year, and she's also going to be present in the exhibition. So the other thing the exhibition really tries to do is to look at freedom in its broadest context. So it's not just about freedom of expression, but we're also looking at you know, artists who are going through gender transition. We're looking at artists who've actually been incarcerated, uh, some artists who've actually experienced having to be refugees from their home countries. And they're um, reflecting on their own experiences in the production of their work, but they're also trying to sort of convey distinct messages. So I hope that in the, in the range of artists represented in the exhibition, we managed to touch on all of the different elements of freedom, really, that one would aspire to have, but, but not just in a way that suggests that freedom is this, in a way that encourages the visitors, the audiences, to actually consider what freedom means to them and, and where they sit in relation to the argument that the artist is actually putting forward. I'm really excited about Freedom Audit. For me, it stands as a symbol of what Art15 is all about. It's a really forward-thinking exhibition. It's non-Western-centric. It's really prepared to take risks. And it's responding to current events that are happening now. I can't imagine any other context where you're able to bring together artists from such an extraordinary range of countries voices that we don't always get to hear from actually and bring them together months after the kind of world events that we've experienced at the beginning of this year to really ask difficult questions. Art15 is the world's most global fair in the world's most global city and it's absolutely vital for us to bring all of these voices into the heart of our fair. Freedom Audit stands for what Art15 is about and I really hope that people come into this exhibition, take away some of the themes, ideas, messages, some of the conversations they're going to be having about the work that they're seeing and it helps them to understand the fair better, more generally, more broadly, that their experience there might help shape their experience of the fair at large.